All right, so this is a update on my Eastwood scroll compressor. Um, third one of the two uh, both had problems. Eastwood's really good at uh, you know standing behind the warranty. But I think I finally figured out what's going on with these things. Um, so today, this thing blew out a bunch of oil. So I went through that process of checking the oil, drained all the air out of the tank, uh, made sure it said zero, had my valves open, made sure this guy had no pressure because when you check the oil, this guy's pressurized also. So I went and there's a dipstick right there. So I took that out and looked at the oil level and it was still full. And I'm really concerned about as much oil as this thing's blowing out over time. And it's a light use. Use it, you know, to paint some parts uh, on the car and stuff. I, I don't use it every day. Might use it once a week. Sometimes I don't even use it at all. And uh, But this thing was uh, always blowing oil out. And it's blown so much out, I was figuring that this guy was going to be low on oil. Drain the air, check the oil uh, level, and it was full. So I was kind of concerned. I'm going, wow, that was weird. It made a noise. Um, so I was kind of concerned. Why is this thing full with all this oil? I mean, it's way back there. It's over here. It came, came back here. You know, so it's, it's enough oil to be not a little pot, puddle. So I decided to drain out of here. Now, I don't know why, but I just decided there's a drain. There's a little uh, peacock valve over there. It's a quarter turn valve. And then it drains out of that hose. And started draining just to see what it looks like. Because I'm going like, how's this thing always full? And what happened was, first one started draining. See, that doesn't look like oil. And that's 16 ounces. It was water. So I got really concerned. What's water doing in the oil tank? So I kept draining. Another 16 ounces. And you got to remember, this is light use. I don't use it every day. It's not a shop. I don't have guys in here working. When I go to use it, you know, I do uh, you know, a little light painting and maybe a couple of light tools. Got to the third one. So that's about 40 ounces of water, and I finally hit oil. So... I decided to give uh, Eastwood a call, and I got Kelly on the phone, and she started asking me, you know, is am I getting oil coming out of here? And I said, yeah, I, that's what I've been documenting. And when I first got this in this, uh, December, January time frame, first thing it did was blow out oil. So I put in the ticket right away and said, hey. And what they told me it was normal for these things to blow oil, right, especially if there's too much oil in there. Well, now I understand what's happening. I don't know if it's the water separators failing or this thing's producing more water than that guy can separate because there ain't no way that guy is going to separate all that water out of there. And if it did, that means you got to change that. I would have to, I kind of calculated, I'd have to change that every other month. I think that's the, uh, hopefully I'm pointing at the water separator. Yeah, I think oil and water. So, there's no way this much water is going to fit into that filter. Uh, I would have to change it. So, either this guy's really filling up really fast. I don't know how the... I'm just assuming. I don't know how the water's getting in here. I know it's condensation. But to get that much, and now I know when it blows oil out of these, you got too much water in here. So, if your unit is blowing oil out of the pressure valve, and that would be after when these things... To finish a uh, fill in the tank. I think what it's doing is letting air out of the oil tank, right? And because this releases air at the end of the cycle, some people have complained about. It. I'm used to it; doesn't bother me. The oil bothers me, but so now I figured out. Oil blown out of here means what is in there. I have displaced that much oil on my floor because it was replaced with water inside that oil tank. Now Eastwood gave me a document today that I've never seen before. It must be new. And the document reads that once a week you need to take the unit apart and empty the water out of here. 
They basically say, you know, get a cup or something, turn this valve open after you release the pressure because this is under pressure. If you go to take that nut off and this is full pressure, that thing's going to go through the roof. It's going to hurt you. So got to release all the pressure. Then release the water out of here. Well, that's a good 20-minute job, taking the top off, draining out all the air, doing that, filling the oil if you need, put the top back on, and get it back into you know working condition. Or leave the top off, and you know they had the top on there for some reason, but you know you don't want any of this to get bad. So if you leave the top off, that cuts you a lot of time out, but you still got to drain the air, drain the water out. And they're saying do that once a week. I, I think that's a Band-Aid fix. Um, I, w I don't think I would have bought this compressor if I had to manually drain the water out of the oil once a week. Uh, oil and water to me doesn't mix. If that water is lubricating, if that oil is lubricating anything in this scroll, it's now got water going around, so you're not lubricating. Um, and I'm wondering if that's what's caused my other two compressors to fail early. With this one, I'm concerned because it started making, the reason why I got started doing this today is it started making a new sound. It sounded different when it was uh, uh, compressed, you know, building up pressure. And my other units did the same thing right before they went. So I was really concerned, and now I understand what's going on. You know, the water separator, I think the book says change that once a year or something like that. I don't know. I'd have to look in the book. Don't quote me on it, but I know it's not once a month. And if it's filling up that much, that water separator, and because it's bypassing, and I can only assume, I'm not an engineer that is going to take this apart and look at it and figure it out, but there's got to be a problem for all that water going into the oil tank. Hopefully, we will come out with a fix, but if you are blowing oil right there, it blows all over here, it blows all on the ground. You won't miss it. This thing's probably filling up with condensation water. And it fills up faster than this guy fills up. I mean, I don't get that much water out of here. I got water separators all over the place. I've never had to empty any of those out. I got an automatic water separator on this guy that goes off, I think, once an hour or something for a second, spits out any water. It's been keeping that tank really dry does cause this thing to cycle up every other day and what it does is just builds the pressure turns it on i mean that's probably the biggest use this thing's got is once once every other day or so you know because that automatic valve is spitting out a little air the pressure goes down and kicks off but with the light use that this gets the amount of water that i don't get here the amount of water i don't get here and the amount of water i'm getting in the oil and I'm afraid that that oil is used to lubricate and cool the scroll compressor. Now you got water in that oil and lots of water in that oil. Is that causing, is, did that cause my other two units to freeze up and die? Okay, that is my update. I will put a, a copy of the document they gave me. And uh, so everybody will know. But if you get one of these compressors, just know that the fix for this thing filling up with water is take it apart once a week and drain it. That means take the cover off, drain the air, then drain the water. Fill as needed, put the cover back on, put it back in service. It's a good 20 minutes to a half an hour job once a week. Have a great one, guys. Bye.